We're given the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of cn over n squared plus 1 minus 2 over n. And we want to see when, what values of c makes this series converge. So let's first bring this all under one fraction. So we need to get a common denominator. That's going to be n over n squared plus 1. And now I'm just going to shuffle this around. So I want to pull out an n squared. And notice here I have a cn squared and a negative 2n squared. So I'm going to factor out the c and the negative 2. And then I'm going to distribute the negative 2 with a 1 to get minus 2. So now this is a lot easier to visualize. So one problem here is, why don't we just let c minus 2 be another constant, just to make things easier. And this step is optional. So let's say a is positive in this case, or if a is negative. Regardless, the series is going to diverge by the nth term test. Because think about it. What is the limit as n approaches infinity of a n squared minus 2 over n squared plus 1? Well, that's just going to be a. So we said a is either positive or negative. It's not equal to 0. So this limit doesn't equal to 0, so we say it diverges. Now let's consider a equal to 0. If a is equal to 0, then we're left with negative 2 over n squared plus 1. We can factor out the negative 2, and then let's just focus on 1 over n squared plus 1. So ignore the negative 2 for now. We know that 1 over n squared plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 over n squared, which 1 over n squared converges by the p-test. Therefore, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1 also converges by the direct comparison test. So if something bigger converges, then something smaller will also converge. And that's what the direct comparison test is telling us here. So if I multiply this by negative 2, that's also going to converge. So to sum it up, the sum only converges when a is 0. But notice the question was asking about c, not a. a we said was c minus 2. So if a is 0, c minus 2 has to be 0, and so that means c has to equal 2. And that's when the sum converges.